the two highest numbers that people encounter and want to know about is 222 and 1111. 1111 is all, I mean, just think back on your own path of when you saw 1111, how you saw 1111. Every time. <laughs> I remember I've, I've worked with so many people over the years who it was that stupid 11 11 and, and they wouldn't get so mad. every time I look at the clock 11 11 what does that mean 11 11 11 like this this thing that followed them around right and then 11 11 led them to their spiritual doorway you know and 11 11 has two parts to it the first 11 part is the crashing of your old world the second 11 is the building up of the new world. So 11 is a very mystical number. 22 is a very mis mystical number. But very commonly, when you start working with higher frequencies, you will see the number 1111. Very similarly is 222. 222 is also a building down of the old world. And what I call 222 is the number of uh, switching from the ugly duckling to the swan. That's what that res that energy resonates with is 222 is about shifting out of that old reality into the new reality, becoming the more beautiful version of who you are. And both of those numbers require a tear down. So that's why I said, when you start working with these higher frequencies and energies, expect something in your life to go woo -woo, and then something else to go woo woo. Right? It's like those dreams we were talking about earlier. Uh, you know, and and those two things will simultaneously be working in your life and it, that's why spirituality is hard you know that's what I was just thinking about this morning is like when you really are working with the right frequencies and the right spirituality it's work when you just go to Sunday school and church and stuff it's not work not really because um, Jesus will save you, right? There's a different mentality to it. When you're working with this type of ancient spirituality, you save you, right? It's you reaching for the heavens to come back transformed. And every time you reach forward and you receive a transformation, your life changes. So, that's why you have to be very mindful of the intention of what you want to change so that the result is not so dramatic. A lot of times people tell me, oh, I want, you know, everything. No, you don't want everything. <laughs> you don't want everything. Because if everything changed at once, you would be in the mental asylum it would be overwhelming, okay? If everything in your life right now changed, you would go crazy. But that's what we think we want. Yeah, it's not spiritual easy. <laughs> spiritual work is not spiritual easy. Spiritual work is a conscious decision that you want to be the best version of yourself. And in order to be the best version of yourself, and to rise to that frequency, it requires everything that is not of that frequency to fall. Because you can't have both. You can't have your cake and eat it too. It's like sometimes you want that toxic relationship, but you want, you know, you want, <laughs> you want your whole life to change. It's not going to happen if you're in the toxic relationship. You can't change because that relationship might be holding you down. That job might be holding you down. That um, you know, place you're living might be holding you down. There's a lot of things that might be holding you down. But at the same time, those things might be holding you up. So that's why you change one thing at a time. <laughs>